So it's 6.40 in the morning on the day of homecoming and we were here until about 10.30 last night working on the posters that are behind me. And um, we're preparing for homecoming day and we're super excited. This year we didn't get to do the floats like we normally do, but instead we did posters that are pomped and decorated like our theme, which is old cartoons. We realized that homecoming was going to look a little different this year. And so what Alabama does as their college homecoming is they create these ginormous, beautiful posters that are intricate and they spend weeks on them, right? And so we had a shorter frame of time, but we figured that this was a really simple way that we could socially distance and have fun, right? Because the whole part of homecoming is that ability to be with your class and to have fun and, you know, eat food food and just hang out with each other. So we're pretty much building these floats as a replacement for the er, floats posters as a replacement for the floats and uh, we're having a competition to see um, you know which poster looks the best and like meets specific uh, qualities you know and uh, yeah each class made a poster this one right here is ours and uh, yeah. We got someone to help us make a sketch and we knew our theme was Spongebob. We wanted to make it a lot about school spirit so we did the football and the black and yellow and we changed the Krusty Krab to have black and yellow flags and it be FHS. Then we changed the chum bucket to be the other school that we're against. So yeah. And it's sophomore square pants is the theme. Being in a pandemic we knew that it was going to take too much manpower and money and time that we just couldn't commit to this year to build the floats, the traditional floats that we do. So our student body president, Alexis Miniette, had the idea to take a page out of the University of Alabama's playbook and homecoming. And this is what they do is these giant pomped posters. And so um, we got together and brainstormed and this is the result of all that. And we're super excited and proud of them. What we've come up with for today's plan, I'm pretty excited about. It's something different. Um, it gives us an opportunity to still celebrate homecoming in circumstances that we weren't sure were gonna even happen. It took us about four days and we stayed till six, so three hours for three days and then six hours for the last one. We worked until about nine, like every night this week. We became really passionate about the process and our goal every year is to make it bigger and better. And this is our passion, this is what we love to do. And we're best friends on top of that, so it makes it all better. Yeah. And a special shout out to Mr. Williams for building these huge giant uh, wooden platforms for us. It really is the fundamentals of construction on the boards that we made so they could staple on their, their pom-poms and such. But what a great collaboration with students. We're proud of them. They worked long and hard and late and we all came together and that's what it's all about. Thank you to all the teachers and everyone who made this possible. And, and our administration for getting behind us yes. and fighting for us yes. because uh, without them, I'm not sure we would have the day we're having. Go freshmen. Let's go sophomores. I hope that the juniors will win. I think we have the best poster. That's my class, class of 2021, and we will win this year for the first time in you know, our whole entire homecoming life. <laughs> hey, go Jackets, see you tonight.